What is up, people? Welcome back to my channel, Mystic Watch, and today we're going to be going over how you should enter the world of Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. Or, I, I, I don't mean enter, like, physically, I just mean, like, how you should approach the game. It, this is the beginner's guide, okay? If you already know what you're doing, you don't need to watch this. This is more to help people out that are new to the game. The game's still about a week old, a uh, week and a half at most. So, you know, there's a bunch of people that are just hopping onto the game and they don't really know what to do. So, I'm going to be going over how you should, you know, save your diamond, what to spend it on, etc. What you should focus. So, first thing first, uh, we will go check out the events. So, check out the notices. So, uh, the most important thing, I'd say, is right here. We have uh, EXP going on uh, three times a day, and usually you can catch it somewhere, right, for one hour. And in this one hour, it'll take you about half an hour tops, 45 minutes roughly, uh, like half an hour to 45 minutes tops, uh, to get your characters to level 80. This is from scratch, I'm talking about, like, my characters were like level 10, and I got them to level 80, all three of them. Well, no, not all three of them. Because I swapped characters out here and there. But you get a good amount of EXP and you get bottles, like EXP potions to use on your characters. So you can easily get one character maxed out and uh, the rest of them you can get, like the, the higher your main character is, the faster everything goes by. So if you have all three characters maxed out or close to it, uh, it makes this entire game a lot easier. So uh, after that, what do you want to do? Uh, I suggest playing enough story to do one weapon multi-summon because uh, you might have the character that you want but you might not have uh, you might not have the proper weapons to use that character um, someone just got me a new account with the Yuki in it so I'm gonna be switching over to that account because Philia is good in all but uh, Yuki is better so and I also dumped like 750 or like 800 pearls or whatever memory diamonds and got got nothing out of it so uh, also if you want to know how to reroll go check out my rerolling guide uh pretty it's like a fast type of reroll so it might not it's been a little bit buggy recently i think it's because they're patching it but if it's, it still worked for me so uh, if you give that a shot if you want to try to go for a character the characters you should be aiming for are silica and yuki uh, if you get any 4 star keep it as long as it's not Lisbeth Klein or Aegil or if you don't have you know if you're patient enough right otherwise take any 4 star and just move on uh, this game is pretty easy it's like it's easy enough where you can beat it with any any 4 star okay so let's say you got your character you went through the story you did a multi summon all you really need is one 3 star weapon I'm not even talking about a 4 star weapon so, let's take a look here. So we check out the weapons. Alright, all you need is... Um, you can probably pull on this one. This one's probably better. But, um, all you need is one 4-star weapon. That's it. Sorry, 3-star. So, one 3-star, and you're good. So, drop 150 for there, and you're good to go. Now, it comes down to the events. Like, what should you be doing? So you can always check out the events in the wrong button. You can always check out the events over here. And right now, uh, there's about a couple days left on these two events. No, sorry. These two events. And this one just came out. The Fairy Daughter. So over here, you can get a 4-star Code of Midnight, which is really good. Uh, I farmed up one, and I'm working on a second one. And then you can also get there's these other items, right? You get these diamonds that give you uh, more MP. Use your skills. They also have a battle skill for MP up. Uh, you get a mithril saber, which is a sword. Uh, let's say you pull someone who needs a sword. You know, there you go. You can get a four star weapon right there. And then the same thing with the rapier. If you have Asuna, she can use that. 
So there's that. And pretty much with the way those works, these events work, is you just play the missions and you get points. The the harder the difficulty, the higher the points you get. Oh, wrong button. So normally you you don't need to play it on the highest difficulty if you can't consistently get an S rank easily. Uh, usually you need like two, not even two. If you have one one level eighty, you can usually beat the highest difficulty. Wait, I don't want. Why is it bringing me to here? Yeah. So uh, here we go. So you can beat. Like, clearing these also gives you more fragments or diamonds. And then usually uh, what I did was I farmed this one for some time, quest 11, until I was able to consistently beat uh, quest 12. So here you go, like I have 4,910 points. Uh, I haven't been doing this as much, but you can get, I think 20,000 or 30,000 points is the, the, the cap of the, the rewards. 30,000, right? And while doing it, you'll get all these stuff on the way. Then we also have Kirito, who essentially just gives a bunch of coal. And it's just like a fun event to do, I guess. But this one is kind of important. So make sure you get through this one if you start soon. Because uh, this Kirito up here is the same one that we get for free. And... I'm not even all the way done with this. Um, and this, you can't upgrade him the, the normal traditional way where you need the crystals that you can get through story mode or whatever. Uh, you need these little cookie things up if you can check his banner. Like, maybe, did my mouse pop up? Yeah, right here. So, this cookie, if you, uh, those are what you need to upgrade Kirito. So, you get those, uh, you know, you can max out his character. So, he's also pretty easy to like for a free for a free four star he's pretty good so i suggest getting him out and then getting the mithril saber for to use on him so that'll make you uh that'll, that'll put you at a pretty strong character so that's really your focus this should be like the least focused uh the the black swordsman kirito because it doesn't give much it's just uh you know get some diamonds to farm etc and some money but these, like this one runs out in three days, so I suggest doing this one. And then this one is your next highest priority. And then down here, uh, we have daily crystals. So they run, I think, Monday to Saturday. You got a crystal for each day. And then Sunday, it's uh, like money. So you can farm money then. So that is essentially the order in which you want to do things. I still haven't beaten this game on hard. So I still have plenty of uh, fragments to to farm the diamonds sorry and there, there'll be more more events coming down the line and the cool thing is like i like the multiplayer so you can play in real time with other people which makes this game more fun now i guess what do you want to spend your fragments on like i said you want to usually do one multi summon just to get a base set of weapons get that out of the way you know it'll give you 11 weapons uh, so you can just have an array of weapons if you get a four star, that's really nice, but uh, uh, three stars are fine. Then the banner you want to wait for is the wind banner, which is coming out soon. Uh, the wind banner has uh, multiple characters on it that are top tier, and those will last you some time. So I suggest just saving everything you have until the wind banner comes up, right? Like here we have water asana. This is like the water banner, but uh, you'll see the wind banner coming up, I think. If I go to notices again. No, this is fire banner. Okay, so we'll get Sinan. We'll most likely get a fire banner. And then uh, after that, we will get wind banner, I believe. Don't quote me on it. But I think that about covers everything that I wanted to go over. So let me know if there's anything else you want want to know about this game. I will start doing some guides on it, but essentially every, everything comes down to how well you can parry, and learning to parry just comes down to 
uh, playing the mission multiple times and learning learning the timings. Of course, there's always some like patterns or something that I can go over, but uh, that that's really the base of the game. But I still like the the live gameplay so much. And you, 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 it's weird. You actually like find mechanics in here, like like. You can like cancel your animations with a jump, and if you do it right, like you can attack uh, right out of it and have no lag. Because normally, if you're attacking, you can't you can't move out of it until until it finishes. I, I don't think it works here since I'm not attacking anyone. But and there's also like a, like a, a sliding mechanic, but it, well, there's there's plenty of stuff to go over. This, this game is actually surprisingly in depth. So, I really enjoy this, I'm going to be doing more content on here, uh, and going between Naruto and Sword Art. I'm also doing Pokemon Duel, which I find amazing, but that's enough blabbering on. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know what you thought, if there's anything else to go over. But, uh, yeah, until then, peace out.